Hey, good evening, my brothers and sisters. Very good evening. Praise the holy name of the Lord. Uh, you are tuned into this great program. Uh, you know my program name already. Uh, Trinity, uh, timidity, or temerity. Trinity or timidity, you know, doesn't go together. When you are believing in a triune God, timidity doesn't show up. So temerity is the boldness. Uh, today, you know, we are sitting down here. Uh, I am so pleased to be here. At the same time, I just want to remind every one of my dear brothers and sisters, uh, we are really mourning and grieving for our dear brothers and sisters in Paris, the France. You know, we need to really recall all the wonderful uh, great men and women who are constantly dying because they're Christians all around the world in Syria in Middle East countries in Kenya and uh, Nigeria uh, you know go, the list goes on and on and on and now from the Middle, Middle East it is now going around Europe and you know don't ever think you and I are safe in this country if we don't understand the time that we are living in and uh, the faith that matters now and your faith in Christ matters therefore my dear brothers and sisters you know please call your friends you know inundate the media that's what terrorists are doing they are inundating and leveraging the media to express their brutal desires. Why not? Why not you and I take this opportunity to tell the world about the good news of Jesus Christ? So, you know, before I start, please, you know, I always, always remind you, this is not just a show. This is the Lord, the sovereign Lord is gonna show up. So we need to really be unctioned we ought to put on the armor of light. So I ask my sister Abina to pray for you, for me, and for the entire world who's going through this yes, very yes, tough Thank you, time. Thank you, Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come into thy presence, Master, in the most awesome name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We honor you, Father. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify your name. Thank you once again for this day, Father. You are being with us every second of our life. Life is so precious, my Lord Jesus. Yes. Man yes. shall not live by bread alone. Yes. Every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yes. Father, every day is a new day for every one of us. Yes. Christ before you, my brothers and sisters. Yes. Christ behind you. Yes. Christ beside you. Yes. Christ before you, my He's brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. He's Thank our you. Savior. Thank He's you, our God. healer. He's our protector. Yes. He's our provider. He's everything what He's doing for every one of the mankind. We pray for all those people who's going through right now, my Thank Lord Jesus. Jesus. All yes. the terrorists terrorizing your children around yes, the world. Lord. Thank Not you. only here, around the world, Father, in the Middle Eastern countries, in Syria. In, in France, especially, Father, all yes. the innocent people are dying, Father. Yes, needless. They are so innocent, Father God. Have mercy upon their family who lost the loved ones. Only you could console and comfort the Master. Where Thank can you. You, they can go, Father? You have the answer, my Lord yes, Jesus. Yes. You have the answer for every one of them, Father. Thank Stop Jesus. this terrorist right now, whatever they're doing, Thank Father. You, Send your Thank myriads and myriads of angels Hallelujah. to protect Thank your you, children, Jesus. Father. Your Thank children you. are, Father, around the world, they're persecuted, dying, yes. dying because they're Christians. My Lord Jesus, have mercy upon them. Protect Thank their you, families, Father. my Lord Jesus. Abba, Father, I pray for our network, Dr. Joseph Nasrallah, and Father, all our staff, every one of whom we pray for them, Master. Father God, I pray for every prayer request that comes to us. Yes, every yes, prayer every request, yes. Father, that comes to us. Father, whoever asks us to pray, 
Father, every healing. Father, every blessing. Let your blessing be upon everyone who is watching Alleluia, right now, Father. Alleluia, Release yes. your blessing upon all my brothers and Thank sisters who are crying Release, right now. Let Master. your peace be upon everyone who is watching, wherever they are watching around yes, the world. Release Father. your blessing. Thank you, Master. What a wonderful presence we have right now. We are here with us right now, my Alleluia, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Your amazing presence is here, Lord Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Thank you, Master. What an awesome God we serve. Thank and you, what Master. a mighty God we serve, Father. Father, I offer, at this moment I offer my brother, Father, let him speak your word, Father. Let your Holy Spirit be upon Thank all you. of us, Father. Let your Holy Spirit be upon yeah, each and every hallelujah. one of us. Yes. Anoint him, anoint all those who are watching right now, whatever they are praying. Hallelujah. Answer yes. everyone, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, above, Father. Release your blessing, my Lord Jesus. Infuse your blessing, Father. Diffuse every evil yeah, upon all Thank my you, brothers Jesus. and sisters. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you, Father. I ask all this in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 amen and amen. Thank that you. was an awesome prayer. Thank yes, you, I know that. Yes. I know that the Lord is grieving yes, for your soul and for my soul. Mm -hmm. The Lord is moving and he's weeping yes. for you and me around yes. the world. Yes. His blood in the mercy seat is crying yes. his blood in the mercy seat is crying for you yes. my brothers and sisters yes. all around the world yes. you've been persecuted for the sake of Jesus Christ yes. it is not something new for us because Christ has already foretold these things to happen yes. it is not it is not going to intrigue me or anybody those believers around the world you may I don't care about your denomination Whoever you are, the follower of Christ, you have to know, and I have to know, we're living in a very perilous days of end time. Therefore, you know, in John chapter 16, please, you know what, I, I really wanted to really bring the word of God because man's word is nothing. It's, it's my bread, that's all. It's just the wind. So, you know, it's better that, you know, we stick to the one will never die. That's heaven and earth today that you're what, whatever you're, uh, you're living in a world, you know, but it's going to pass away. The heaven is going to pass away. The earth is going to pass away. But my word, says the Lord in Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, and Mark chapter 13, 31. Please read it because number the 13, we saw a tremendous tragedy. So for that, you know, the consolation for you, wherever you are, my brothers and sisters, you're watching me around the world. So today, the challenge is the Lord is, you know, most compassionate, most loving, merciful God is saying, fear not, I have overcome this evil. Mark chapter 13 verse 31 says, heaven and earth will pass away, not my word. Therefore, you know, the Lord is saying, when people try to kill you, they, they, they persecute you for my name's sake. Fear not. Fear not. Because they will do it because they neither know me nor my father. So they think about the father and killing you on me because they think you are a kafir, because they think you are an infidel, you are a pagan. So my dear brothers and sisters, you know, we, we're not going to be afraid of these terrorists, you know, their days are numbered. Yes. Their days are numbered in the name of Jesus. Yes. Whoever is watching me today, I, I command you, you know, you stop butchering yes. our people. Yes. Sooner or later, you will, your knees will bend to the name that is above all the name. Yes. The name above all the name. Yes. Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. And in a Philippians chapter Two, verse 9 to 11 it says there is no the name given among the mortals every knee today whoever that's watching me if you are persecuting this word is for you my, my dear ones yes you are persecuting your family you are persecuting your wife or husband in the name of Jesus Christ you are a believer but you are trying to suppress the truth you are oppressing the people please listen 
go to St. Paul, just read, Google it and see. Philippians chapter 9, 2, chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. It says, every knee, every knee, you have a knee? Every knee has to bend and every tongue has to confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord and He is a Savior. So there's none other. There's none other. So please, today when you hear me, and you know, it's a time for us to uh, look, look our hearts. Why this is happening? What is underpinning? Who is doing these things? You have to know, my dear brothers and sisters, and I have to know as well. So let's turn to St. Paul, chapter, um, Ephesians chapter 6. Sheila, will you please read uh, chapter 6, verse 10, 11, 12. Keep reading, please. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power and His might. Hallelujah. Put on the whole armor of God that may be able to stand against the rails of the devil. For we wrestle not against the flesh, but the, against the principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the sp spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God yes. that may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done so to stand stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth and having Hallelujah. the breastplate of Hallelujah. righteousness thank you Jesus thank you Jesus do you know that we are living in this perilous days as St. Paul says he saw your day and my day. So it's not a May day, dear brothers and sisters. Let us not be life as usual. It's a time for you and I to check who you are and who I am. So, you know, it is the time for us to check our reality check as well as our identity. And if you are the follower of Christ, follow him with all your heart, mind and soul. You know, you can't be wishy-washy. Jesus said, either you are for me or you are against me. The problem with our Christian, the body of Christ, that we are ignoring Christ in our lives. For the rest of the world, for the rest of the, uh, you know, religion to come against you. Because we are not living the life that Christ prescribed for you and me. So that's why people come here to bring their religion and impose their religion by bringing the fire, firepower upon you. They want to really dis destroy because they think America and the Westerners are the great Satan. That's what the Islamists think. You and I, are the great Satan because of all the evil that is going on in, in our countries because people ignore Christ ignorance of scripture is ignoring Christ this is what a third century great scholar Saint Jerome who really translated the Greek Bible to Latin Vulgate, you know, he said, if you ignore the love and the promise of Christ and you are ignorant of the scripture, that's why, you know, others are clamoring and they want to bring their scriptures and they want to impose upon you. If you know the truth, you don't have to go through this. Therefore, it is a time for you and me to check who am I. If I am the follower of Christ, follow him. Follow him, my dear brothers and sisters. Or you cannot be in the world. You know, you are in the world, but you are not. You are of the world. You are out of this world because Christ has promised eternity. In his name, there is eternity. 
Therefore, you know, Peter says, you are a royal priest, a peculiar people. First Peter chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 and 10, please read it. And it says that you are a peculiar nation. You are a royal priest. You are peculiar. That means, you know, like you are out of this world. But unfortunately, we are so much so soaked in this world. And because we are giving ourselves to the flesh, we are you know, filled with all the filth and the sleazy stuff. That's why we are fruitless. Last segment I was talking to you about, you know, the wine and the branch. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. The wine and the branch, you know, the wine and the branch, it has to be intertwined. But my dear brothers and sisters, we are not so. You know, we are apart. We are set apart. We allow all the perversion to take over us. We allow the drugs to take over us. We allow the pornography to take over us. We allow the unholy things to take over us. The toxic materials, you know, it's all about, you know, heaping the wealth. My dear brothers and sisters, you keep on heaping the wealth. You always talk about the prosperity, whether it's a secular world or the Christian world. All that we hear is the prosperity. What is the prosperity? What is the prosperity? The prosperity, the true prosperity is knowing and loving and living according to the precepts of Christ. That is the prosperity. That's what John says in 3rd John, verse 2. 3rd John, it's not the third chapter. You know, it is an epistle that John wrote. And you turn it. He says, if your soul doesn't prosper, no matter what, you may heap all the treasures in the world. The Lord says in Luke chapter 12, verse 15, Tonight, tonight, all the riches, all the wealth, all the name and the fame that you own, it will be taken away. He says, tonight if I call you, where you will spend your eternity? Where is your eternity? But Jesus said, the one who follow me, with all the heart and the mind and the soul, they have to live their life, my dear brothers and sisters. If we don't live, sometimes, you know, God has to discipline you. So I do see that, you know, when you see this courage, when you see people are dying, you know, you know I was really thinking about, you know, uh, here is a group from America, from California. Uh, they were called Eagle Death Whatever the name is, they're just conducting a big concert. And, and you know, you know, inside of the auditorium, they were singing about glorifying death and they were glorifying uh, the demonic forces. They're glorifying the, the, the song, the sixth song, they were singing all about kiss devil, kiss the devil in Paris on the 13th of November. So that's the time the terrorists rained the bullets upon them. They didn't even know. They thought it is really a fire or technique going on. So they were so mesmerized. You are allowing Satan to take over you, my dear brothers and sisters. You are allowing, you are opening the doors for all this evil to take over your family. Because all you think about, you know, the prosperity. It's all about the flesh. Flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. That's what St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 51 onwards, you read it till 57. And he says, you know, the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. But, but, what is that? It is about your life, the transformation in your life. The life that you're accepted, you know, you receive Christ in your life. And you receive not only Christ in your heart, but you know, you walk with him as he walked. First John chapter 2 verse 9 says, as he walked, you need to walk along with him. Enoch walked with God. He didn't die, my dear brothers and sisters. Whoever truly walked with Christ, they will never see death. Because 
Christ said, death, where is your victory? Christ says, where, where is your victory? Because he already conquered the death. That's why he says, fear not. Fear not the evil. In this world, you have to go through the persecution. In this world, you have to go through the trials and the tribulations. But he says, be not afraid. Be not afraid. Because he said, I have overcome the evil. If he is in you, the one who is in you is greater. John chapter 16 verse 33. Chapter 16 verse 33. Read it. So he's already given you the amazing promises. These promises, the one who is in you is greater. First John chapter 4 verse 4. The one who is in you is greater. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, God wanted to give his promises to you in this earthen vessel. St. Paul says, in this earthen vessel, that means he calls you. We are still a vessel in the earth. You are a clay part and I'm a clay part. But he has really instilled and he has deposited this promise in you and in me. So that promise need to come out of you. That is, that need to, you know, come out of your church, your neighborhood, around the world. That's what Jesus said. You know, St. Paul, when he was writing to Corinthians, 2nd Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 4 says, The enemy has blinded the minds and the hearts of the people around the world. They're killing because there's a blinders on. If you're allowing them to kill because you have a blinders on as well, because God asked you, God has provided you the armor of light that Sheila read, Ephesians chapter 6. You read it from 10 to 18. There is an armor for you and me available. And he said he's going to protect us. So his promise says that you know, he's going to protect. But here in this earthen vessel, these promises are coming out of you, coming out of me. So that you know we are the peculiar people in this world. Because Christ in you is the hope of the glory. If the people doesn't see the glory. Because the hope is not in you. Therefore my dear brothers and sisters. Second Corinthians chapter 4. It says that the mind is blinded by Satan. You may not allow the glorious gospel to penetrate in your life. That's why you know around the world. The extreme, the, the Islam, the Muslims. They were blinded because they were, they were really, you know, brainwashed. They were washed. They said, you know, we are the superior race to take over the world. Let's have the black and white, uh, black bur uh, banner all over the world. Let's plant it in Vatican, Rome. Let's plant in uh, in White House, in all the Christian world. They tried many times. They failed. As you know that, you know, the history, you should know the history, my dear brothers and sisters. You know, the, the battle of tools, the battle that is wage war, you know, the, the Muslims went to take over France in 732 AD. And you know what? They failed miserably. Why? Because God's people were on their knees praying, crying out, Jesus, save us. And they were morally sound. They renounced their wickedness. And God hurt them. That was not the first time. You know, you know, these terrorists, they were terrorizing from the day one. It is not an old story. But I'm telling you, do you know, this, you know the battle against Vienna in 1532? Read it. The battle against uh, uh, Hungary. Yes, they want to take over. And in 1490, you know, they want to take over Spain. Yes, the Muslim wanted to take over Cordoba. That's why they wanted to, you know, build Cordoba here in the New York, uh, you know. My dear brothers and sisters. So they, they were really wanted to, you know, raise that flag. So it is the time for us to, we need to really understand we are living in a very terrible end time. Therefore, the Lord, you know, is calling you. 
and calling me to check check where are we are heading so think about it throughout the history they were trying to fight with you and me but they never succeeded because every man and woman on their knees crying out jesus jesus save us and isn't it time for all of us to cry we need to live we don't want the generation to be destroyed my dear brothers and sisters we 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 are supposed to be the light of this world you and i are supposed to be the salt of this world jesus says in matthew chapter 5 verse 13 and 14 he says fear and fear not for those persecuting because greater is your reward so it is the time for us to repent from all the evil and we need to follow the lord is a time that we need to cry out in joel chapter 2 verse 12 rend not your garments but the lord says rend your heart cry out for a fasting be on your knees be on god put on the armor of light and that's the only way we need to morally sound because god is going to hear a cry and he's going to bring healing and he's going to bring blessing so for all of you today as whoever listening to me God is going to bring amazing healing and deliverance today as you hear because he's still able to save you and save me. Thank you. My time is gone. God bless you and Sheila. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for tuning into our program. Continue sending your prayer request and also your praise to the Lord. Also please as we are taking the gospel to the universe, please stand by us. Be a partner, send in your donation any small and or big is appreciated and we really need your help please stand with us and uh, god thank bless you, you and uh, see you next segment thank you god bless you all god thank bless you. you all may christ be the center of your life hallelujah thank you <laughs>